Hey guys, welcome back to my podcast. I've been away for a little while. I did have company come in from another country. I had a cousin come and visit me and I was getting prepared and ready for that as well as dealing with my mom's dog, which now lives with me full time and everything else and working other shifts. So that's what I was doing. But welcome back to Issues with Toddy One Skip. And this is Issues with Toddy One Skip Issues with Tom Cruise. Let's talk a little bit about Tom Cruise. I used to, I thought he was a fantastic movie star. And um, there are some roles that he was phenomenal in. Um, Risky Business was one of those roles. Um, uh, Jerry Maguire, I thought he was fantastic in that. Rain Man, fantastic in that some of the Mission Impossibles, I mean, used to be when there was a Tom Cruise movie, I was the first one to see it. <clears throat> Since the Katie Holmes and the jumping on the couch, you know, really I saw the guy for who he was, and I still saw movies um, after that, because his personal life is his personal life until it starts being crammed down people's faces, And also the way he would treat people. So there's been a few leaks in Tom's approach to his people um, skills. And Scientology doesn't seem to be very good at people um, skills. Because even though supposedly Scientologists believe that they've been around, come back and forth like billions of times, right? Because they're signing a billion-year contract. You would think that... You know, one of the higher Scientologists, i.e. Tom Cruise, would be better at talking with people, getting along with people, getting along in the civilization, being a leader, which he supposedly is. And he's had, what, three failed marriages now. And um, a disconnection, it appears a a disconnection, it appears a disconnection from one of his children, and I, I, how does that person justify themselves as being a good person? The greater good? Show me the greater good now. Now I just want to see where Scientology has even progressed in the last um, 10 years. Please, show me those statistics where they've done something to change the outcome of society because here in the United States, I don't think it's gotten better. I definitely think we've had more decisiveness. We've had more division. We've had more indecisiveness. We've had more, um, much more of a polar country. Um, The gun violence has like increase the anger and people has increased so somebody show me where Scientology has changed the outcome because like they've been at it for a while now so show me and if they're showing in the example of Tom Cruise well that's a pretty bad example because I don't see where he has success in his life besides um, motion pictures And I'll include producing in that because he seems to be successful in his production in that and his acting, which, I mean, to be honest, it seems like he's playing one type of role now. I don't see a a lot of uh, um, differences in the roles that he's now playing. So I am... I see where he might have or might not have had some work done. I don't begrudge any of that, but I do. (laughs) So, in other words, you could do that shit, but you can't go sit down with a therapist. Like, that I don't understand. You know, you could put something foreign inside your body or, you know, change your appearance but you can't sit down and talk to a therapist like where's your priorities at so my issues with tom cruise is that he's not who he appears to be 
you know, be who you are. You have to be who you are in this world. I mean, to have any kind of value, if you're going to be a pardon me prick, then be the best prick you can be. You know, so that at least when you're gone, when people talk about you, man, he was one hell of a prick. Yeah, he was. I never met a prick any better than him. Yeah, the biggest prick in the world I've ever known. Yeah, nobody compares to that prick. Like, so be that prick. You know what I'm saying? But if you're going to come across and being uh, philanthropic and sympathetic and compassionate and empathetic and all of those mutual feelings that are inclusive feelings, then, you know, then that's what you need to portray all the time, not just in the public eye. So, you know, a lot of times with celebrities is, you know, they put a different, they have a facade. Nobody wants to see what's inside anybody's home, really. I mean, the truth is, yes, we do want to see what's inside people's homes, but what they show us when the camera's on is totally different, usually, then, you know, when the camera's off, you usually see a big difference in somebody. Well, if you have the common sense to know that the other way doesn't look so good, why don't you change the behavior so that it really doesn't matter, you know, who or when comes into your home with the camera. There is a saying goes something like, you know, live your life as if you were the keeper of the neighborhood parrot. So anything that you do, they can repeat to anybody. So make sure that you, you know, live your life right. That's what integrity is about, right? So Tom Cruise, who comes across as integral and, well, integral part of Scientology, because that's a warped bunch in my opinion, but comes across with integrity. So he doesn't seem to have any if he's any different than on the outside than on the inside, right? So that's a bit messed up. I honestly can't understand how somebody could really call themselves a good person and kind of abandon their child. And the truth is we don't see pictures of Tom Cruise and Siri because, or Suri, because um, they don't exist. You know, it's not because we're missing something. It's because they don't exist. So he really hasn't been in touch with her. What could she have done at such a young age? And what belief system do you think that that's okay with? Like, where is that okay? And how is that okay with Tom Cruise? So, you know, I don't think he's all that. I think... You know, there's been, I follow the Scientology and the cult um, shows on YouTube or documentaries on television or whatever. I follow them and, you know, you don't want people to consider Scientology a cult. Then stop acting cultish, you know. When you have people that disconnect or you don't talk to a child She's not going to understand that. She'll never understand that. The bottom line was he abandoned his daughter. And he comes and he and he comes across as holier than now that he's representing a whole studio. Okay. Well, somebody crossed the line and they were too close to each other and you heard that rant. If not, man, you could go ahead and look that up. There's many rants where he's cursing at him, calling him an MFR and just really degrading them. Okay, so you only had to do that one time. Yo, man, you're standing too close to each other. You're going to put us out of work. If you put us out of work, I'm going to be pissed. It's going to be a ripple effect. Everybody's going to lose their job. We need to set the example here. Come on, man, stay away from each other. And I'm serious. End of story. Go back to work. You don't have to degrade somebody. The people that degrade people, that's because their life is small. And in order for them to be um, head and shoulders, it's not that they put in any more work. It's just that they step on the people that they can so that they are head and shoulders higher. And that's what Tom Cruise catches me as now. And I really used to be a Tom Cruise fan, but now that his personal life and his personality has come out 
I just really find it hard to support such a guy. You know? And um, so my problem with Tom Cruise is that he's not helping the solution as he claims he is with or without Scientology. He's adding to the problem. You know? And the fact that people work for him at this such a nominal fee. I mean, so you take advantage of people and then you also treat people like crap and apparently you don't have enough strength in your own mind or your own conviction to live your life honestly for you. And if this is honestly for you, you suck, Tom Cruise. You suck, you know? So that's what I got to say. That's my issues with Issues with Tom Cruise. And this is Toddy One Skip. Listen to me wherever you listen to podcasts. Follow, join, talk about me, share, comment. Again, this is Issues with Toddy One Skip. This podcast, Issues with Tom Cruise. I don't know the Mission Impossible. I, I can't, like, sing that into the phone. So this is Toddy One Skip. Thanks again for listening. Follow, join, subscribe, hit a bell, whatever. Talk about me. But more importantly, be better today than you were yesterday, but not half as much as you're going to be tomorrow. Have a good week. Until next time. This is Taddy One Skip. Out!